What is good people? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Time Crypto with me, Crypto Chris. And on today's episode, we are asking, is it time on DeFi? And the reason why we're saying that is, as you can see on the screen at the moment, this article reads, attackers steal 80 million from Rari Capital's Fuse platform. Faye Protocol suffers from the exploit. So it's yet another article uh, stating that there has been another hack upon a DeFi uh, platform resulting in lost funds now if we go down this article as you can see there it reads according to the report from the blockchain company blockset rari capital fuse platform has lost roughly 80 million dollars from a re-entry vulnerability on saturday faith phase protocol official twitter account confirm it lost the funds from rari fuse platform exploit so if we just go there there you can see there's the tweet from Faye protocol which reads we are aware of an exploit on various rari fuse pools we have identified the root cause and paused all borrowing to mitigate further damage to the exploiter please accept a 10 million dollar bounty and no questions asked if you return the remaining user funds so if you are not aware of what rari capital is and the fuse protocols uh, or the fuse pools so basically the rari capitals it offers these fuse pools which are run on the ethereum's ecosystem and the, the uniqueness of these fuse pools and why people are using them is because the rabbit capital enables a isolated lending market should we say for all kinds of tokenized assets so and with this this is what separates them from the other say the larger maybe more secure maybe more trustworthy uh, liquid lending pools because they don't offer this kind of unique isolated pools for, for the tokenized assets. Now, the reason why the Fay protocol has been brought into this and where that exploit has happened, um, as per the, the tweet that I just showed you, is that they provide their stable coin, which is pegged to the dollar at once one, into the Fuse liquidity pools. And the reason why they do this is because it makes their stablecoin more robust. But at the same time, it offers these fuse pools a lot more liquidity. So basically, that's why they have put up the $10 million uh, bounty for it to, to hopefully come back. Um, this goes on to read our monitoring systems detected that multiple pools related to rari capital and fay protocol was attacked and lost more than 80 million us dollars blocks that tweeted the root cause is due to a typical re-entry vulnerability and then the it says that it went on to share a picture of the exploit and said one picture with uh, worth a thousand words now the reason that they've um basically they've offered the 10 million is that they're, they're just trying to get get the money back and you'd be like well why would somebody that's managed to exploit 80 million from a vulnerability on this DeFi want to give it back for just 10 million no questions asked well obviously because blockchain is a open distributed ledger you can see where them funds are traveling at all time and you can track them or it might not be the case because basically you can see where the the hacker has, has got the funds, he's wrapped the Ethereum and then he's moved it to a personal wallet. So that's fine. You can see where that wallet's come from. A lot of exchanges when stuff like this happens blocks that wallet and doesn't allow them to move funds onto their exchanges so that they can exit liquidity into whatever currency they decide to to exit into um so that's all being well and that's why it would be a use case for him to accept the 10 million and send it back because then it's 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 clean money for him but what the hacker is unfortunately doing now it is putting these funds into a tornado mixer which basically if you're not aware of how these mixers work they they take the funds they get sent funds from a wallet 
and there's multiple wallets sending these funds into them at the same time and then they mix up all these transactions inside them and then at the same time simultaneously send out multiple payments to multiple wallets from the from the one address so you see all this money coming in from the from the hacker's personal wallet but then on the other side of the wallet of the mixer you have no idea where that money's going to because they're sending out simultaneous payments to multiple wallets so then it becomes basically you're unable to keep keep track of it and and they can launder the money so unfortunately it doesn't look like he or she has taken up the offer of the the 10 million dollar clean cash but yeah it's just another another instance of another DeFi being being exploited now the reason why I say it's another DeFi because if I go to this website, which is CryptoSec, it can show you as of today, there is a total of 86 DeFi exploits that have occurred with lost funds amounting to a total of approximately $3.2 billion at the time of these exploits. So if I just scroll down, the one of the latest ones on April the 18th was the Beanstalk Farm. So one, I'm not going to go into it, but that was $182 million. Um, April the 2nd this year, $15 million was um, stolen from Inverse Finance. Then we only have to go down to March the 29th and $625 million was uh, exploited from the running network, um, which was the Axie Infinity uh, hack. So and the, and the the list can can carry on going. So that's why I was asking, is it time on DeFi? And I genuinely don't think that it is time on DeFi. I think that DeFi is a a good platform to use. Um, whichever one you decide to use, I think that the the concept is good, and I do really think that it has benefits. What I think it's time on is. DeFi is taking up these positions and offering services and taking people's money and not having sufficient developer training or competency or know-how that they can audit everything and make sure that there isn't these vulnerabilities that are there. There isn't the ability for hackers to go into the code and see these vulnerabilities. The the There needs to be more stronger developers that are able to audit these things is what I think uh, needs to happen next for the DeFi space because we can't just continue to see these continual hacks across many different DeFi platforms because it's just tarnishing the the look of DeFi and the ability for it to be really adopted by the mainstream and the the retail investor because it's of the high risk that you couldn't invest into these DeFi platforms and see money just disappear like that overnight so yeah if you are planning on investing um, in DeFi products to try and earn a passive income or to because you believe in in one of the tokens or what the DeFi is offering then please 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 do some research see if it's been independently audited to make sure that the code's all right um, whether it's a trustworthy auditor that's done it just just really do some research because yeah once a hacker gets in and gets that money and it is gone it is gone normally and as the as the name suggests DeFi, that is decentralized finance so there is no one entity that you can then go and try and recoup losses from if you have inevitably suffered them so yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. It's it's one of the popular the news stories breaking at the moment. So I'm going to wrap this video up here now. Thank you very much, guys, again for coming to my channel and watching my videos. If you like this and you want to be kept up to date with news, please, if I can ask you to give me a like, comment, and even better, a subscribe, so I am able to keep on bringing these videos to you. It would be very much appreciated. But until next time, thanks very much. Take care, have a great day, and I'll see you in the hot seat soon.